Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Brittany Lung. Last weekend saw plenty of action across the US in a variety of different series, including late models, pro trucks, micro sprints, and legends. Sam Mayer, who was recently crowned the 2019 NASCAR k and Pro Series East Champion, returned to Hickory Motorsports Speedway for the 200-lap fall brawl, driving for Junior Motorsports on Sunday due to a rainout on Saturday. Sam was attempting to follow up his earlier win at Hickory in the Bobby Isaac Memorial in the number 88 Chevrolet, usually driven by Josh Berry. Sam qualified seventh, but fought a loose condition from lap one with a car that would set up to run on Saturday night in much cooler conditions. The first 100 laps were all run under green and the team pitted for two tires and adjustments at the break, but could not advance finishing in sixth. Up next for Sam, his second start in the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series at Martinsville Speedway on Saturday. Joey East made his first career start at Stockton 99 Speedway in a Pro Late model on Saturday, where the young 16-year-old qualified second in his number 88 Nate Clower made a Chevrolet. Joey never ran worse than fifth, running second for most of the race, that saw a late race caution with five to go. Joey battled door to door with Sam Solari for the win, but came up just a little short, finishing in second place. What a season the young Madeira California racer had, starting off by winning the 2019 Bandolero INEX Silver State Road Course Series Championship in Las Vegas, then winning the 5150 Junior Late Model Championship with five wins, two seconds, two thirds, and nine starts. Six wins in six starts in the Speed 2 Midget, and one win, two seconds, and five top fives in eight starts in the Pro Late model. That's an impressive year. Joe Valento was in action at Dell's Raceway Park in Wisconsin on Sunday due to the race being postponed on Saturday for rain. Joe put his number 30 KBR Performance Arden Mills Nitro Lubricant Chevrolet on the pole for the 40 lap feature that would see 21 trucks take the green flag. Here's where it gets complicated. The Midwest Truck Series inverts the top seven plus a roll of the dice to set the field. The good news, Joe got to roll the dice as the fast qualifier. The bad news is he rolled a six, meaning the top 13 trucks were inverted. Joe ended up starting 12th due to the truck failing inspection. However, the slower trucks in front of him running lap after lap, door to door, made it almost impossible to pass. Joe eventually ended the race in ninth. After the race, Joe was presented with the Southwest Truck Series Rookie of the Year Award. Congratulations on a great year, Joe. Now let's switch gears and see what the race face next drivers were up to. William Cox was at Carteret County Speedway for the INEX Asphalt Nationals, where he was dominant in his Farbro Motorsports number no. three legend car. He was fastest in practice, qualified P1, and then led all 35 laps to bring home the win and the national title in the Young Lions division. How do you celebrate a national title? In style. Watch this short video. Congratulations, Will. Up next for Will, Atlanta Motorsports Speedway Fall 5 Road Course on Saturday. Jake Bowman was also at Carteret County Speedway for the INEX Asphalt Nationals. Jake qualified 13th, ran 4th in his heat race, and started the A-Main in 14th. On lap 5, Jake got hit going into turn 1, spun and hit the inside wall, but was able to resume the race, restarting tail end of the field, and raced his way back to a 9th place finish. Up next for Jake, Road Course Nationals, on November 2nd and 3rd at Atlanta Motor Speedway. The Red Army was at El Paso County Raceway for the fall brawl in their now 600 wingless micro sprints. To set the stage, it was cold, and that made for a slick racetrack that did not have much grip. Let's check in on Justice Sokol, who started P3 in his heat race and finished in third. In the feature, Justice rolled off second and brought home a second place finish. 
Now on to older brother Colby, who started P1 in his heat and brought home the victory. Smoke had to start the feature in fourth, but raced his way to a podium finish in third. It's now time for the Red Army to start preparing for the 2020 Lucas Oil Tulsa Shootout that starts on January 1st and runs through the 4th. Cassidy Hines had a busy week that started on Thursday in California at Madeira Speedway, where Cassidy got behind the wheel of a Nick Clower Motorsports late model for the very first time, and it didn't take her long to get up to speed. She even spent a little time chasing race face teammate Joey East around the one-third mile paved oval. Both Cassidy and team owner Mike Nake were pleased with the results. On Friday before returning home to Colorado, she stopped and spent a little time at Stockton 99 Speedway with Joey East and Nake Clower Motorsports, who was gearing up for the Saturday's Pro Late Model race. That's a lot to take in in three days. Race face drivers that were not racing this past weekend, but will see action this weekend include Sheldon Creed, who will be back in the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series at Martinsville Speedway on Saturday. Jesse Love will be in his SRL Southwest Tour late model this weekend on Saturday at Kern County Raceway in Bakersfield, California. Jesse will pay tribute to Jason Leffler in his number 38 Great Clips throwback paint scheme. Race Face would like to welcome Dryden, Michigan's junior late model driver, Katie Hedinger, and Willow Park, Texas ARCA Racing Series driver, Caden Honeycutt, who also competes in the IMCA Sports Modified, as well as super late models to the Race Face family. Caden Honeycutt will be back in his Sports Modified on October 25th and 26th for the Fall Classic at Heart O Texas Speedway in Waco, Texas. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlight on Thursdays at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, this week featuring now 600 micro sprint driver Kobe Sokol. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We will be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Brittany Lung. Thanks for watching.